Hey, what's up guys? Then my for simple snippets back with another video tutorial on quantitative aptitude. So in this video tutorial, I'll show you a trick to find square of a number which is near to multiples of 10. So let's get to the trick. So what do I mean by numbers which are near to multiples of 10? Well, you know, multiples of 10 are like 10, 20, 30, 100, 1000, 10,000, so on and so forth. So any number which is near to that and we have to find square of that, we can apply this technique. So in this technique, there are two formulas and I've written them in yellow and green. So we are going to be using the a plus b whole square formula and a minus b whole square formula. So here are the questions that we are going to solve today. And the first one is 29 square. So if you go ahead and solve it using the conventional method, you do 29 into 29 and go ahead and solve it in a tedious way and it will definitely consume your time. And this trick is definitely going to speed up your calculations during your aptitude exams. So let's see how this trick works. So let's go ahead and solve the first problem. We have to calculate 29 square. So instead of going ahead and solving it using the conventional method, what we can do is we can represent 29 as 30 minus 1. So now we can apply this formula because it is in that format that is a minus b the whole square. So this term would be a and this term would be b. So according to the formula, we have 30 square minus 2 into 30 into 1 plus 1 square. So we know 3 square is 9, so 30 square would be 900 minus 2 into 30 into 1 is 60 plus 1 and this would give us the final answer of 841. Pretty simple right and this technique is definitely faster than the conventional method of actual multiplication. So let's see how this goes with question number 2. So in question number 2 we have to find out the square of 42. Now 42 can be represented as 40 plus 2. So now we have this formula which we can apply. So according to that formula this is the a and this is the b part. So according to the formula we have 40 square plus 2 into 40 into 2 plus 2 square. So we know 4 square is 16 so 40 square would be 1600 plus 4 to the 8 to the 16 plus so this will be 160 and again we have 2 square as 4. So adding these values we get the final answer as 1764. So let's see question number 3 which is a 3 digit problem. Now again 121 can be represented as 120 plus 1 or it can also be represented as 100 plus 21 but since 21 is a big number to calculate we will take 120 plus 1 because we can easily find out the square of 120 but to calculate square of 121 we will again have to perform other calculations. So 120 is the A part and 1 is the B part so this would give us 120 square plus 2 into 120 into 1 plus 1 square. Now we know 12 square is 144 so 120 square is 14400 0, 0, plus 120 into 2 is 240 plus 1. Again simple addition will give us the final answer that is 14641. Okay so let's see for the fourth question that is 199 square which can be represented as 200 minus 1. So this formula would apply and we have 200 square minus 2 into 200 into 1 plus 1 square. This would give us 4000 minus 400 plus 1 and simple calculations would give us 39601. Now for the last problem, it's a 4 digit problem. So 9999 square can be represented as 10,000 minus 1 and again the formula that is a square minus b square can be applied. So that would be 10 raised to 4 the whole square minus 2 into 10,000 into 1 plus 1 square. So this would give us a big number that is 10 raised to 8 minus 20,000 plus 1 and calculating the final answer you will get a big number that is 9989001. So this is how you can smartly calculate squares of numbers by representing them in a plus b the whole square or a minus b the whole square format and this is definitely going to speed up your calculations and will help you in your aptitude exams. So such kind of questions are frequently asked and the best way to tackle them is using these kind of tricks and techniques. That's it for this video and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace.